everybody, it's Ashley with you for this week's Ink to Paper Saturday Showcase feature. This is video three in the series of four featuring watercolor textures brushstroke stamp set. And in this video, it's all it's going to be all about that largest, widest, longest, rectangular shaped brushstroke that is included in the stamp set. I am going to show you a quick and easy, simple way to create beautiful backgrounds with it. I'm going to be using hues of pink in a gradient format. So you can create note cards, um, simple cards, or of course you can always create uh, intricate designs as well. Next up, I'm going to show you the finished card that I made, but in the video you will actually see my stamping process on how I actually stamp the gradient background. On this card, I wanted to show how to use the largest uh, rectangular brushstroke image and watercolor textures brushstrokes. And what I wanted to demonstrate is how you can use it just in um, shades of one color, hues of one color. So I chose pinks and started with a light pink and gradually got darker. I actually stamped it this way. There's an option that you can do use it and you can also have it this way with the darker hues and get lighter. It's pretty much up to you which, which way you want to design it. To finish out the card I just added a bit of gold and uh, floss here and then a sentiment here that was heat embossed on its coordinating die cut. So now let's take a look at how you can stamp this particular background very easily. Okay, so I have here the Watercolor Textures Brush Strokes stamp set. Um, it retails for $6. It's a mini stamp set with the label attached from ink to paper, and it has these four brush stroke images on it, a larger rectangle, a skinny rectangle, a smaller rectangle, and then this smaller square, square type of brush stroke. This video, I'm gonna be focused on one way you can use the larger, the longest, widest rectangle brush stroke here. I already have it on my block and what I plan to do is to just simply stamp it. No tricks or anything like that. Um, and so I'm using shades of pink, hues of pink, um, to stamp it on a card in a pattern. I'm going to show you how you can stamp one side and stop, stop there or you can keep going with the pattern. So I have Pale Peony, Lovely Lady, Hibiscus Burst and Raspberry Fizz, all by Paper Tray Ink. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure my stamp is conditioned and ready to go. And I want to start here on this end, so I'm just gonna start there. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stamp and I'm gonna stamp off. So I'm gonna, I want this one to be not too high, not too low, so I'm gonna stamp it here. And then I'm going to stamp a little bit of it here. You can't really see that one as much, so try Lovely Lady and see how that works out for me in the next one. Go a little bit shorter here. Okay. And then I have Hibiscus Burst. And last I have Raspberry Fizz as an option. And since the first one didn't stamp so well, I'm going to come back and try it with this sweet blush. Here, a little bit of a lighter hue. And this is one way you can do it. You can have your card, just have a watercolor brush strokes here, add stuff, something there, or you can continue the pattern, which I will show you how you can keep going. Okay. 
with the same colors underneath to repeat the actual gradient pattern there. Next up, I have Lovely Lady. Hibiscus first, and then last is Raspberry Fizz. And since this one, I might have to stamp this one just a touch here at the end to get that pattern to repeat properly. And this is one way. You can go dark to light or light to dark and create your own little pattern here with the larger brush strokes, really pretty. You can even use it the vertical way if you like. Um, you can cut from it and a lot of different options. Um, you can use this with different color schemes and it'll turn out really pretty. But this is one way you can use this larger rectangular image here to create your own stamped watercolor pattern. It's just with using ink. Okay, that concludes the third video in this week's Saturday Showcase Watercolor Textures Brushstrokes video series. Um, on this video, you saw how I used the largest rectangular image in the stamp set to build um, a gradient type of uh, pattern using hues of pinks. Um, just to show you how you can create simple cards, this will be great to do just for note cards, I think, and create those backgrounds that, that are, look so dreamy and watercolory. I hope this video inspires you to create with this stamp set, and I hope you have time to join me for one more video that is uh, showing the last image in watercolor, textures, brushstroke stamp set.